some years ago, MPs' pay was taken out of MPs' hands and handed to the Independent Parliamentary Standards Authority. They've actually cut uh, MPs' pensions, uh, relocation allowances and other allowances to fund what appears to be a pay rise. It's actually completely cash neutral for the taxpayer. And interestingly, all the reductions to fund the so-called pay rise all happened at the last election. So they've, they've already happened anyway. So currently, MPs are about 10% uh, worse off. I would say that... You know, if MPs can't stand up for their own paying conditions, how can the constituents have any confidence they can stand up for them when they're in a, so, a difficult so situation? And also, your, view, your viewers should know that two-thirds of the men... There's been a long shadow of MPs' you will be expenses accepting hanging it. over politics. Uh, you you I, will be I, accepting it? I will be it? accepting it. Uh, but, it's, politi it's, day, it's politically it's politically difficult, isn't it, in the in, in the austere climate, even when one looks at uh, the justifications outlined by IPSA. It's complete, it is completely cash neutral. There's a long shadow of MPs' expenses being hanging, hanging over MPs and Parliament for a long time. Two-thirds of the members of Parliament currently were not there at the time of the MPs' expenses scandal. And MPs have been on their knees for a long time. It's very difficult to fight for anyone when you're on your knees and it's time for MPs to get off their knees and this is part of it.